December 3rd, 2020. Town Board meeting, please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <clears throat> So I don't have any announcements tonight because next week is our regularly planned town board meeting. Uh, so uh, Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Councilperson Cassidy. Present. Councilperson Franco. Present. Councilperson Marinaro. Present. Councilperson Beepin. Present. Supervisor Delisandro. Present. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, resolutions. Uh, number one, adoption of secret determination for a blue water project. Long environmental assessment form has been prepared by a town planner, whereas the town board has reviewed the project and reviewed the environmental assessment form. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the supervisor be and hereby is authorized to execute a negative declaration with respect to the blue water project. Do I have a motion? I'll move. Do we have a second? Second. second. Discussion? So, as everybody knows, we had our um, public hearing last month for this project on Route 52. Uh, Blue Water uh, Company has come forward to propose a 629,000 square foot warehouse. Uh, as everybody knows now, that is for Amazon. And uh, we are, we have been <laughs> doing a lot of work. <laughs> To say the least, I think this is the biggest, most uh, thorough review that I've seen as me being supervisor. Uh, I really have to take my hat off to my, uh, my, my, my professional staff. Thank you very much, all our consultants. Uh, the applicant, he's, they have been uh, very forthcoming with the information, working with us. Uh, it's been a lot, a lot of work, but there's a lot to review. It's a big project. There's a, a lot of things happening with it. So um, while I say that, would I have the attorney give a little uh, review about the, de the negative declaration? Sure. As um, uh, the board's aware, last month at the public hearing, uh, the board <clears throat> held comments based on an environmental assessment uh, form that was submitted for the project as well as preliminary site plan uh, reports. During that public hearing and after, the board identified and evaluated any potential impacts that the project might have and reviewed specifically areas, uh, how it fit in in land use and zoning, how it would impact public services, stormwater, traffic, transportation, noise, air quality, fiscal impacts, surface waters and wetlands, threatened and endangered species, historic and agricultural resources, scenic resources, and water and wastewater. All of these issues are then discussed in this negative declaration, and it is identified what, how the, any perceived impact is going to be addressed in the project that will now be specifically reviewed by the planning board for the exact location of the infrastructure. So based on uh, New York State process. The CEQA review is the first step and before any other agency that's involved in uh, approving this project can go forward, a negative declaration or determination has to be made. And as the board's aware, approximately 15 other agencies received all this information in advance and they entered their comments. That includes New York State DOT, the Department of Health, DEC, uh, Historic Preservation, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So all of that's now been put together into this document. If the board adopts this this evening, then the second item on the agenda is uh, to actually have this board agree that in, under our economic redevelopment special use permit process that this site is eligible for that. And then it will go back to the planning board to continue the review process of the uh, site plan itself and the specific minutiae details as to <clears throat> where the bushes go and the fences are and everything else. So that, in summary, is what this document would do tonight. And if everybody remembers in the town board, of course, we created this economic redevelopment special permit 
uh, because we needed to get more different uses at that site. Everybody remembers the town board initiated a, a GEIS on that property because we wanted to identify different uses, try to bring different developers here, different companies to try to finish, uh, to take over the old West Campus and produce something new. And we have something new here. We are do been doing a very, very thorough review. Uh, just as everybody remembers last month, we had a joint public hearing with the planning board and uh, you know, different things came up, which we have been reviewing, especially traffic. We have come up with a very specific and grand um, transportation, I'm sorry, uh, traffic improvement mitigation plan for that area, which we're working with the developer on, the, that will be finalized in the site plan approval. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's been very, very uh, long, long days, but, uh, but we, we have been getting, we got here in uh, record time, I believe. Oh, that's for sure. Record time. Any comments from the board? Well, I'd like to at least offer our thanks to the supervisor and all the professionals as well for the hard work you did. I know uh, being the supervisor today, he was, uh, he was tired. <laughs> so I know he's been doing a lot of work. So thank you very much for all that. Well, it's, that's my job, right? Any other comments, questions? No. Okay, so with that, I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried, thank you very much. Number two, to issue the economic development permit for the Blue Water Project. Uh, Deputy Supervisor, you could just do an overview, Deputy. Whereas the Blue Water Pro Property Group has applied for economic redevelopment special permit for approximately 123 acres. Whereas November 5th, the town board held a public hearing with the planning board and had discussions about the proposed plan. Whereas the pro proposed use of the property is in compliance with the underlying zoning districts. And whereas on December 3rd, 2020, the town board as the lead agency pursuant to the state environmental quality review act adopted a negative declaration, and whereas the town board has considered the application with respect to all relevant positions within the town code, including the special permit set forth. Now therefore be resolved that the town board finds that the application is in compliance with the general special permit standards. Um, one, compliance with the terms of assumptions made in the NAGDEC, deck, and two, site plan approval by the planning board. Be it further resolved, that upon receipt of the site plan approval, the town board will be release easement, uh, number four, proposed emergency access, release easement 16, proposed 20 feet wide easement, and accept the relocated defined parking area as indicated on the project mm -hmm. subdivision approval, site plan, et cetera. Hi. Do I have a motion to grant the economic redevelopment special permit? So we have a second? Second. Discussion? So this is the second part. Uh, the applicant has met all the requirements in the negative declaration, and this basically identifies that they have met all the requirements to receive this economic redevelopment special permit. Any other comments or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you all very much for both of those very important resolutions for our town. <clears throat> Number three, Councilman Franco. Whereas the town is in need from time to time of temporary employees commonly referred to as floaters to assist in the clerical functions necessary to operate town departments. Whereas the town clerk has interviewed an, an applicant and recommends Christina Jowdy, Judy to the town board. And now therefore be it resolved that the applicant is hereby appointed as temporary part-time typist in the town being paid an hourly rate of $15.04. Be further resolved that the said typist shall work at the pleasure of the town supervisor in accordance with all previously established rules and regulations. It will be removed from the payroll upon completion of her task. Thank you, Councilman. Do I have a motion to appoint a temporary part-time typist? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Discussion? It's hard to find people. Uh, they've been leaving, they've been coming and going, so we try to fill those positions. Uh, as everybody knows, with um, 
next month we will, and I'm sorry, next week we'll have a resolution for actually a uh, vacation buyout because with COVID, we're running into this problem where not a lot of people are taking vacation. They're occurring a lot of vacation and that's going to create a problem next year, especially. Uh, so we can't find enough uh, part-timers, uh, floaters to cover the people when they need to go on vacation. So if more people could come forward, if you need a part-time position, please, please put an application in. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carrie, thank you. Number four, Councilman Bifan. Whereas the New York State Legislature provides that local legislative body can approve firework displays, whereas the town, East Fishco Town sponsors a drive-by Santa ceremony that would like a fireworks display at the recreation fields on December 6, 2020. 2020. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board does hereby authorize the use of a fireworks display for this event and acknowledges that a certificate of insurance is on file in the town clerk's office. Thank you, Councilman. Do I have a motion to authorize the fireworks for December 6th? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Discussion? So this year we're not able to do our regular festivities for the holidays, uh, the tree lighting, Santa Claus to come for the children. Uh, it's unfortunate because of COVID, but the town board did uh, come together with the recommendation from our rec director saying, you know, is there anything else we could do? Maybe a fireworks display for, for everybody as they drive by, see the tree lit. So that's what we're doing. Uh, it, we had two other fireworks displays this past year. They were very, very successful. Probably the largest turnout for fireworks in, in a long time. So I appreciate the town board approving those. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried, thank you. Number five, Councilman Marinaro. Authorizing grant application for the senior citizen sidewalk renovation. Whereas the town is requesting authorization to apply for the G CDBG community development block grant for the senior citizen sidewalk renovation. And whereas this hearing held on November 5th, 2020 was to receive comments about a grant application that could be made to the CDBG for the community development block grant funding from Dutchess County. And now therefore be it resolved that the town board does hereby authorize the submission of an application to the community block grant funding program of Dutchess County for the senior, senior center sidewalk renovation. Be it further resolved that the supervisor and all the other officials of the town are authorized to take step all steps necessary to effectuate the application. Thank you, Councilman. And actually, the no next resolution, Resolution 6, is authorizing grant application for the Senior Center sidewalk renovation. Uh, so uh, we are also going to be applying for the CDBG Community Development Block Grant program for uh, coronavirus and for the traditional uh, CDBG program. And the traditional one, we are applying for the rest of the sidewalks to be done at the community center. Uh, as everybody knows, we did authorize, the town board authorized expenditure of our rec development funds this year to fix the broken pieces at the uh, community center, which they were a tripping hazard for our seniors. Uh, so the town board did authorize funds to fix those which we have. Now we've identified that uh, the rest of those uh, sidewalks should be done so it came of perfect timing that we could apply for the rest of the sidewalks through the CDBG program. So we, there's two CDBG pro, um, uh, applications. One is for the coronavirus, which has to meet certain criteria, and that is for the air filtration for the senior center, which that does qualify, and the other CDBG for the sidewalks. Uh, if everybody remembers last month, we did have a public hearing on uh, the CDBG grant program, which we came up with different ideas what to do, and we did put in these two applications. And I'd like to thank our Rec Director, Jan McHugh, for doing that as well. Um, do I have a motion to authorize grant applications for the Senior Center sidewalks and the Senior Center air filtration improvements? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried, thank you. And I have one from the floor tonight. Authorizing the supervisor to assist other municipalities when conflicts arise. 
Uh, the supervisor in discussions with other communities about shared services have, ha, is recommending to this board to establish a policy resp with respect to sharing with other towns and obtaining from other towns assistance when municipalities employees have a recognized conflict that prevents them from acting. An informal practice has existed on a limited basis where building inspection services are needed, but has been determined that other services can be shared as well, uh, providing more quick, quick and cost-effective manner. Town of East Fishkill has many professionals on staff rather than utilizing outside consultant, which has been more costly. The supervisor would like to ensure this practice would only be for a short defined issues. Now, therefore, be resolved that the town supervisor may authorize the use of in-house staff, but not limited to planner, building inspector, attorney, et cetera, by other municipalities to handle an issue when a conflict renders the other community staff unable to act. Be a further resolved that the supervisor will obtain reimbursement for said services and pay such costs when other town, uh, when uh, we uh, assist other towns and they assist us. Do I have a motion to authorize other municipalities when conflicts arise? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. So discussion. So this came about, uh, as all of you know, I speak with many other supervisors and mayors in the county, and you know, time to time, their conflicts arise. They need a, 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 um, a building inspector because possibly a council member or some other employee is uh, building their house or they need a, 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 an inspection. Also, sometimes there's a conflict with attorneys. So instead of going to a third party, we'll share services, and they would share also the rate that we pay our professionals and in turn us from them. So this is a cost-effective way to help each other, and we try to do that as best we can. Is there any comments or questions about that? No, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. And that's it for tonight. We're going to have our regular meeting uh, next week, December 10th. Uh, and th at that time, we'll, I'll have my regular comments. The town board will have their comments for the end of the year. Um, so all I have to say is on Sunday, December 6th, is our tree lighting ceremony. It is a drive-through. Uh, there are specific information on our website. Yeah, for the children to see Santa and Mrs. Claus at the tree lighting and also for the fireworks to display. So that is this Sunday, uh, December 6th at the community center. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting now adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you, clerk. <laughs>